Hey everybody, I'm in my studio and I'm going to show you how to make a donkey sack puppet. I don't know whether you knew it for, but I was, uh, before I became a picture book author, I was an art teacher. I taught art for a thousand years. And then I taught, then I was a children's librarian for a thousand more years. And we always made something. A lot of times we made sack puppets. And I'm going to be telling you how to take a paper sack. You can just use a lunch sack. That's what I usually use. I got these sacks at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to put a link for everything that I, I use today in um, in a in, in the spot below this video this this these sacks came from Hobby Lobby I'll be using uh, a lot of punches like this these punches I got those at Hobby Lobby too but I've ordered them from different places online before and I'm also going to be uh, using some construction paper. I like True Ray construction paper. And that's what I'm going to be showing you uh, uh, in this video. You're always going to need a pencil. Start, start using your creativity mind. See there? There's his face. And there is his mouth opening. See that? Now what does he need? He needs some eyes. He needs some ears. He might need a little nose and some mouth. Well, you could actually just draw that on your sack if you wanted to and then cut some ears out of construction paper or some other brown paper. But I'm going to show you how, how to do this, just step by step. So now then, how do I make... All right, I have this paper. Um, let me find it. I had this paper. This is also from Hobby Lobby. I live in the Ozarks, and, and, and there are not many things, places to buy art materials in the Ozarks. I'm not making an ad for Hobby Lobby, although they have been good to me. But I, this is a, a stiff paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's um, some, I don't, I'll actually put a link to that too. And they have some that's just the color. It's craft paper, the craft paper. That's just the color of sacks. They didn't come together, but this is just the color that this is. Now, what I had to do is I had to figure out exactly how big to make that piece of paper that covers Donkey's face. So what I'm going to do, do you see this, what I've done? I've, I've put the sack with its face down on on the piece of paper that I'm going to make his face out. If I wanted his face to be green, I could put it on green paper. And I have some green paper. I don't care if you make your donkey green. I like green donkeys. I like purple donkeys. I think Eeyore was a purple donkey. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to trace right around that rectangle as it's sitting on the paper. Now there's the rectangle. Do you see it? I don't know if it's going to pick up this on the video or not. But I'm going to promptly go into my scissors bag that my daughter-in-law made for me. It says Jackie. Do you see that, Jackie? And I'm going to show you the link for where you can order the patterns for these. Okay, you don't have to put Jackie on yours. But anyway, now I'm going to cut that rectangle out. just the way I did it and I'm going to show you just exactly how that's going to work now here's my sack and here's my rectangle that I'm going to grow on, on top of that sack the only reason I'm actually I could kind of leave, I, I just don't like that in there I could, uh, if I, especially since this is a brown piece of paper that matches the brown sack I could um, I'll actually make a colorful one next, but anyway, this I'm gonna I'm just gonna use what's there, and I'm gonna take some handy dandy glue, and I'm gonna glue that on there. After I make some ears for my donkey, I'm gonna use the same paper. 
So what I'm going to do, what are, donkeys have big ears. In fact, I'm going to, I'll share a story with you about why donkeys have big ears. I think that might be a, something that I need to write, a book I need to write Let So I'm just going to guess what the donkey's ears would look like. But his ears would be kind of, they're kind of like bunny ears. But this is a donkey. They have kind of, they don't have little precious ears like a, like a horse's ears. They have donkey ears. So I'm going to, that might even, I'm going to make a little, I'm going to extend my line down so I can glue this beneath his face. But you don't have to do that. You can glue it however you want to. I'm going to double my paper so I can cut out, I'm going to double my paper so I can cut out two ears at one time. And I'm going to take, uh, take these. These are, uh, I think these are a Fiskar scissors. I'm not quite sure, though, if they are. I use Fiskar scissors a lot. A lot of different kinds of good scissors. Be sure they're sharp enough. Don't ex and, and teachers and parents, don't expect, I know they're children, but don't, if, when I go on tour, I'm going to have all this cut out because we're not going to have time to cut all of this and figure out it's not going to be an art lesson. But, uh, so I'm going to have all this cut out, but, but teachers don't expect your kids to cut paper unless their scissors work. So, I mean, I'm all for safety, but don't expect miracles. If, if you want your kids to, um, now to, to glue, to cut something, you got to provide scissors. Now what I'm going to do before I glue my face on, I'm going to take this glue. Now I hadn't opened this glue yet. I'm going to glue one eye, one ear there, and one ear here. One ear there, and it's going to take a minute. And 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 um, you know, a lot of you want to use um, this glue sticks, and I have those too. I have to find them. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm also going to use googly eyes today. And I'll show you a link where you can order those. But you can also make eyes out of construction paper. I did that for a million years. All right, now I've got that mounted, and I'm going to glue my face right on top of that. Now here's a little secret. You see where we're going with this. So there we have it. There we have. We have, see that? Isn't that cute? It's already a donkey. He doesn't need much more. But I should have before I started, and I'm just, and I did this, bef I, I did it kind of out of order so you could see what, what the process is. But before I ever even started, I should have, if I wanted a map, you don't have to have it. In fact, you could take a magic marker and make a magic marker mouth, just co our crayons, and color his mouth. His mouth would be, okay, I'm going to draw a pencil line. That is what his mouth, that's this, from here to here is what his mouth would be. So I'm going to do the same thing. If I want this to be tough and challenging, I need to do the whole thing. So this particular True Ray paper, I actually ordered it on Amazon. I used to order it from Dick Blick when I was a, a teacher and also a, 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 a children's librarian. But it's True Ray construction paper. And I'm going to open this package. This particular, they ha it comes individual colors or sets of colors. And this set of colors is uh, warm colors. It has red, orange, yellow, yellow green, uh, dark uh, a dark but school bus yellow, p several pinks, and so I think th those are going to be great colors. Although I have other colors, but those are going to be great colors. So I'm opening my package. That's always that. And there are 150 sheets in this uh, in this group packet, this set. So I'm opening it, and I'm going to show you all the beautiful colors. There they are. I used to sing a rainbow song when I was a children's librarian. Red and yellow and pink and green, 
purple and orange and blue. I have to go to a different set of colors to get the purple and the blue and the green. But this set has a lot. There's a kind of a limey green, citrus green. Okay, there we have. That's kind of the assortment of colors in this particular set. I'll show you another set later. But that's the warm colors. So let's see what we got here. What's a good color for a donkey's mouth? Well, it can be any color you want. Hmm. I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna. I think that might be that's the same one. I'm, I don't. I think I'm gonna do red. I like dark, bright colors and not dark red. So I'm gonna put all this away. Uh, that's that's the secret that I need to learn myself is how to put things away. All right, now, how do you make a donkey's mouth? All right, let me tell you something. Another secret is to put something under you when you work. I had I got glue on my table, and now I have a mess. Don't do that. Put something under you. But anyway, let's just, uh, let's see what we're going to do. So now what we have to do is do the same thing we did before. We're going to mark this rectangle on the whatever color you want your mouth. I'm not going to tell you what color your mouth has to be. And then, because I don't like people to tell children, or I don't want somebody to tell me what color I need to use, so I don't like for people to tell children what color they should use. A mouth's whatever color you want it to be. Sometimes my mouth is very red. Okay, now actually this is not the, true ray is slacking. This is not the same quality of paper that they used to have. Uh, I, uh, there are various colors at Hobby Lobby of, of this thick paper. Uh, and like I said, I'm not doing an ad for Hobby Lobby, but that may be your better bet. Now what I did is I cut out that rectangle and I folded it long ways in half. Now let me see if that doesn't just kind of fit inside that donkey's mouth. Woo! Yeah, and some despair for lips. Now you could actually right now, because it's what you when you glue that in, you're gonna glue it all the way up into the crease. And if you want to trim it out, but beware, don't put on too much glue. Because, guess what? It'll be on the table, too. And then your mouth, your donkey's mouth will never open again. And he won't be able to see because his mouth will be sealed shut. So there, oh, look at him. <laughs> you see? Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. I'll show it to you in just a second. Uh-oh, I knocked his ear out of whack. Okay, that's what my donkey looks like so far. I don't know. There we go. I'm trying to find. It. There's him in. There's him out. Now you see that's just a little bit bigger, and I can take my scissors if I. But I kind of like those lips being down there, so I'm gonna leave mine there. All right. Now what are, what are we gonna do for eyes? Well, we're going to use white construction paper or heavy white paper of some kind. Oh, that's not it. This is some heavy white paper. I, this actually came from Hobby Lobby, I'm embarrassed to say. But, okay, so what are we going to do? I have this punch, and I don't know really what size it is. Maybe if I put my glasses on, I could tell. 1.5 inches. I'm just going to try a, a variety of sizes. All right, so be sure you get... Be sure that your paper's all the way up or you won't make a full circle. I'm going to make cut two circles out. Oh, this is this is fancy. You have to open it because they're stored inside. Now, I may not ever get those out of there. How do you get those out? There they are. Okay, now, get out my... I just cut these eyes. Okay, let's look at that. Ooh! Do you see my donkey's eyes? Okay. Now, that I could actually right now get another size and make. Okay, that's 1.5 inches. 
Let's see what this, oh, that's a heart. Oh, I don't see what I'm going to do with that heart in just a minute. I think I have a big heart, too. Uh, I'm going to get another size. Let me see what size. This one is, uh, I think that's one inch, but I'm not really sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a different color. I'm going to take black. Here's black. Here's some black paper. Or again, you can buy it at Hobby Lobby, and it's. I can't, I'm, I'm going to think a minute what they call that. It, it's a heavy duty paper. I believe Paper Studios makes the paper at Hobby Lobby, and it goes on sale every other week. So, there, I, if you want to know why I know so much about Hobby Lobby, I actually taught for them for a while. So, I know a lot about Hobby Lobby. Although I'm still not doing an ad for them. They quit, when COVID started, they quit, I quit teaching for them because they they couldn't have the classes anymore. It's just as well. Okay, there we go. Now then, let's look at this. Oh, now that donkey can see. He has pupils. But let me show you another alternative. Now that's if you don't want to order Google eye, googly eyes. That's the cheaper route. But if I wanted to, I could take that one inch, one and a half inch size again and cut this out of black or red or green or purple or whatever color you want it to be. And the way to open this thing is sneaky peeps what it is. There's the little thing is right there. Now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put make that black for like a liner. And let's look at it with googly eyes. Okay, let me get up to get here. Of course everything has to be opened. And now then you have then you have to keep up with the rest of them. I know this, I've done this a million years. So let's see how this looks. Oh no, it's gonna be funny this way. Let's look at that. Okay, so let's let's be um okay, let me glue. Alright, glue. A little dab will do you folks. And that's why the glue sticks are good for young children because they don't understand that concept. I don't really understand that concept. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I like a lot of everything. Okay, there we go. Now then I'm going to put my googly eye on there and glue him down. Those will pop off in time. That's one reason to just use construction paper. Besides that, construction paper is just a whole lot cheaper. Now, um, alright, I, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to stop the video and go get my big heart punch because it's not in this, this bunch of punches. Bunch of punches! But let me show you something. Let me give you the let me give you the the big picture. Give you the idea. All right. Let me look at my red paper again. This remember the rule about putting your things away. <laughs> we need to figure that one out, don't we? Okay. I'm going to cut. I'm going to take a heart and I'm going to pull it out. This is sort of aggravating, but guess what? It's even more aggravating if you don't do it. Okay, let me show you something. A heart is some lips. He doesn't need big lips. So I'll just make little lips. Okay, be sure you just put the glue at the very tip top of it because his lips are going to hang down, hang down in there. And try to find the middle. Try to find the middle. Let me see. There we go. Now he has lips. Little lips. He needs cheeks. Oh, what color cheeks? Mm, it could be any color you want, but this color right here is calling me. Ah, get it out of there. But I, I just want to say over and over again, see that? Oh, it's, my donkey has to have that color cheek. So I'm going to use not the big, well, yeah, why not? As I said, I like things big. and get, I'm going to fool it. This time I'm not going to put the guard down. I'm just going to cut and let it fall. So I just cut, well it didn't fall, so I had to dig them out. So there I have two cheeks. Let me see if those are too big. They may be a little big. 
eh, maybe just a little bit big. I hate to say anything's too big. But let's try, let me try this size and see what this size does. Does that look more like a donkey's cheeks? I, that I get. I think that's a one-inch punch. So I've used a one and a half inch punch, a one-inch punch, and a the medium size. It, there's a large, large heart, but I, I'm using the. And then there's a tiny heart. That's too tiny for this. There we go. Now, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue my cheeks on. Oh, look at that. Look at this, folks. That's my donkey puppet. I'm going to have to get my, five, my phone in a better position. Hee-haw! 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 I'm going to stop the video and start it again so you can see it. Okay, there's the donkey. I, I doubt at this angle so that you can see inside his mouth. He has his open. Oh, hello, hello, dog. Actually, you could actually cut out a tongue, in, in, but be sure if you put a tongue in it that you anchor the tongue right next to the fold. And don't use much glue or his mouth will be shut forever. Okay, there he is. There's my. I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to pull back, and there's my donkey. Now, let me see if I can do this. I've never done a selfie before, but a donkey selfie is the horse of a different... Now, I don't have long enough arms. Of course, everybody does. Hello. Hee-haw. 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 Now, one thing fun is that I'm getting ready to go on a book tour, and I'm going to take enough cut out materials and sacks on my book tour for everyone to make a sack puppet. Now, isn't that going to be fun? So, and, and let me say, let me give myself a little plug here. If you live anywhere between the Ozark Mountains and Mississippi and want me to come to your library or your bookstore or your school and show your children how to make sack puppets and read my story, I'll be glad to do it. I'll do that free between now and December 31st, 2022 to celebrate the making of my picture book, The Donkey's Song. <laughs>